Okay, it's Friday night. It must be beer review time. Homebrew re review time. So I've got one of Frank's. This is his Roush beer. Roush beer March. So yeah, this is a smoked smoked beer. Um, it's been sitting in next door for a while. I think it was was it Christmas time, or I can't even remember the one you gave us to me, Frank. So apologies for that. Um, you give me two of them. Now I did drink the other one when I was drunk one night, but I can't really remember that much about it. And I think I also drunk one of Paul's. Paul's gave me a smoke beer as well. I think I've drunk that one as well because it's disappeared. Um, I've also lost a raspberry, one of your raspberry wheat beers as well too. So I think I must just drink them when, when I'm drunk, or we've got you know thieving mice or something like that. But but yeah, anyway, so. I'm going to open this now, so I know Frank likes his beer quite fizzy, um, so I'm kind of wondering, it's been sitting in there all that time, I'm wondering is it going to be, it's going to have a big head on it, so I think I need a big um, a big glass to drink it out of, so I've kind of found this here, when I was hooking for um, something else the other day, that's like something Zian from Riggy Brew would drink out of, but yeah, that's an emergency. Really drinking out of this. What are you joking, Frank? But seriously, look at the size of that. That's an effort Friday waiting to happen, that thing there. Anyway, let's go. It's not a gusher. We're alright. We're saved. <clears throat> oh god, I can smell it already. You smell that flipping barbecue straight away. Now, I'll say up front, I'm not a big fan of smoke beers. But I think I'm not a big fan of smoke beers because I haven't really went out there and but and had too many of them. I had a couple, a couple from Frank, but that's it. So it can be quite intense if you're not used to them. Stop that there. I mean, I can smell it from here. My God, it smells like. Smoky peat. It smells like a bottle of Scotch whiskey. That's what it reminds me of. Mmm. So the smells pretty good. Colors, colors a lovely looking kind of ruby color. I suppose you would expect that with a smoke beer. That kind of burnt burntedness. That one there. Um, the head is. It's a nice little creamy tan color. It's, uh, I think it should stay. It might turn into a little cap to stay on the top, so. Yeah, as I say, the aroma. I already told you what it, what it smells like. It just, it's just pure peat, smoky peat. And it's gonna taste exactly as it smells. I just know it. I've no idea what else goes into this, what other hops is on this or anything, but I mean, I think with this, it doesn't really matter about hops. Unless you could like do an insane beer with like loads and loads of citra or something. With smoke malt and see what it turns out like. But yeah, I don't think you could, you would be able to pick out the hops. I say this now before I've tasted it. I'll just keep talking and just talking and then maybe I'll notice that I'm not actually drinking. Just... <laughs> what are you joking? Cheers! That's a nice little taste of that, you know. It's kind of, it's mellowed from what I can remember about the first time. It was just this intense smokiness that hit me. But that is, I think that is, it's, it's more of a rounded taste. It's kind of like, you know, if you if you have like Irish whiskey, it can be quite spicy and quite um, you know fire water. But if you have Scotch whiskey, it can be nice and actually quite drinkable, almost dangerously drinkable because it's really smooth. It's 
quite busy. It's quite, it's a fairly, fairly light body on it as well too. Which makes it quite drinkable. So you get a bit of a sizzle on your tongue when you take it in. And then when it goes down, you just get this hit of smoke. And now, it's kind of like you get the peat taste afterwards. That's actually okay, you know. And I don't think I could drink too many of these in one night, but it's actually okay. I sound surprised when I say it. I am a bit surprised. The taste kind of reminds me of something. I'm trying to think what it is. I think it's just kind of Scotch whiskey. <clears throat> that the kind of peat. Excuse me, it's a bit fizzy. Yeah, the um, the kind of peat, the kind of peaty taste. It's kind of like the um, is it the Isla Isla Scotch whiskey? I'm not sure. But it's been a while since I've drunk whiskey. To be honest, I'm just it's beer all the time these days. I think that's definitely an acquired taste. But it is something I could drink. I mean, there's not an awful lot I couldn't drink. I'll, I'll be brutally honest. But as I said, that's kind of... I couldn't drink too many of them in one night. I think it would put me off. But you know what? Frank loves it. I think beer over 25. Loves his rich beers as well, so... I'm not sure how. I mean, how do you, how do you get into smoked beers? Maybe one of you two could tell me. How do you get into drinking smoked beers, something like that? I don't know. It's quite a niche kind of beer style. But it's actually okay. So I was wondering about, could you get some crazy hop? What kind of crazy hop would go with that? That could wrestle to the death, bare bellies in the car park, with that smoked malt. It would need to be a big one, like it would need to be like a citra, or maybe a combination. Citra and Amarillo or something like that. Something really pungent. Or maybe go the other way and go really dank so you get some Chinook and some um, Columbus and stuff like that maybe there may be something in that it would definitely be a small batch for me if I was brewing that it's actually okay I'm, I'm really surprised that, that it's okay I was really expecting it to be really like being hit over the head with a shovel. But it's actually okay. It's definitely mellowed over time in the, like the four months. It's been about so yeah. It would be interesting Frank if you kept one of them. And um, basically give me another. If there's any left give me another one. And I'll, uh, I'll kind of age it a bit and see what it turns out like because I think that'll be really quite good uh, over time. I 
kind of smoky though. My god, that's smoky. I think Paul's. From what I can remember, and I was a bit pissed that night. If you ever get send me beer mail and I don't do a video, it's because I'm I'm pissed one night and I'm drunk. Um, but I think Paul's wasn't as smoky as that. Definitely not, because I had the two. Of them, I'm pretty sure I had the two of them back to back. I think Paul's was more kind of. It was a bit of smoke, and it was a beer, whereas that's a lot of smoke. That's a lot of smoke. It's like you put that on the barbecue and just close the lid. There's a little bit of a sweetness in there as well too. It's almost like a bit of a, a caramel type sweetness in there at some point. Not sure what you put on it exactly but there is definitely something else in there. It seems to be, it's working quite well as I'm going down. I'm getting it. Yeah, that's okay. So yeah, um, I'm just going to go because I'm starting to waffle now. It's starting to hit me. It's, I haven't had my dinner yet and you know, it's the first beer on a Friday night so. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I could probably sit here for another 20 minutes and talk shit <laughs> about God knows what. But I'm just going to say bye. So Frank, cheers. Um, I think this is the last one of yours I have. I've got a couple more in there but I think I've reviewed them all. The Hardcore IPA, or the sorry, the two Hardcore IPA. And I've got uh, I think another one in there. But I don't think I've anything different so. So yeah, cheers. thanks for sending them to me. And if you have any more of them, um, maybe keep me a wee bottle and we'll see what it's like in uh, six months time. So, maybe autumn. So, yeah. Six months time. Oh, it's near Christmas. Okay, I'm just rambling. Well, we'll just, I'll tell you what, I'll just drink the rest of it. And we'll just have a chat. Just about stuff. So, yeah, um, it's a, uh, quite clear as well too, I mean I suppose it has been sitting in my in next door for you know, four months or something like that so it'd be interesting to know what kind of yeast you used in that, I'm not sure it's probably like a I don't know, a lager yeast or something like that or a, maybe a Kulsh type of yeast Kulsh, is it Kulsh or lager? I don't know I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, there definitely is a nice little bit of sweetness in there. But as I say, I'm not sure what that's from. Maybe it's just the alcohol, but it's actually getting quite nice as it, go, as it hit the bottom. So, uh... Here we go, last mouthful. Right, Frank? Cheers.